Okay guys, well yesterday I didn't do a preparation day, but today is the practice day of a really big tournament. We're almost there, still going down the road, you know, but we'll be there in about five minutes. For you guys, it'll be about one second. Alrighty, we're on the lake now. Now today I'm actually going to be covering water that I've never been on in my entire life. But that's okay, because I personally know the man who made them and know where they live all the time. So yeah, that's just a little bit of confidence booster right there. But yeah, like I just said, I'm covering all new water, know nothing about it. I just got to head up the lake, look at it. I know a little bit from Google Earth, but basically that is it. So yeah, I guess practice day starts now. Oh, I had one. He just blew up on it. Hey, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna follow up with this swim bait. See if we can't get him. Top water's gonna be key. Not really. If the wind ever calms down at all. Then top water will be key. Get the net, get the net. I got a giant on. I got a giant. Get, keep, here comes the boat. Keep my keep my rod down. Keep my rod down. Yeah, we need to get out here after I get this fish in. Oh my gosh, this is a small mouth. Tell by the way he's fighting. You ready, Dad? Let's let that boat get by and then we'll net him. Yeah, we're getting out here as soon as I get this fish up. Oh my goodness, he's hung in the motor. He hit it way out there. Gosh almighty, this is a giant. Oh my goodness. I haven't, gosh, oh gosh, here, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, dad. That's what we need right there. We got a plan, baby. We got a plan right there. We have got a plan. Now that's not a keep, they gotta be 18 inches, but I'll tell you what, this high school tournament, they let us keep 15 inches. That's a good 15 incher right there. Caught him right here on this transition bank. This is a rocky bank, but right over that point is pea gravel. And that's perfect, especially in the springtime. But, uh, yeah, there's this nice smolly right here. We're going to get out of this area right now and go find more places that look just like this. And just a little background. This is my second career smolly. Never caught smallmouth. I only caught one on accident. And then I come here within 10 minutes and catch them just like I know what I'm doing. Which, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, but... Anyways, let this guy go and we're getting out of here. Let's get out of here. Sorry guys, but it is raining and this camera, you know, cameras don't do good with rain. I don't want to waste like $600 right here. So, you know, I'm just putting on the frog togs, going to fish a little bit in the rain. Mainly just going to ride around and look for stuff so you probably aren't going to be missing anything. And if I do catch like a giant on accident, you know, I'll obviously pull out the camera. But yeah, the wind's really starting to pick up. The, you know, it's starting to drizzle right here, putting on our frog dogs right now. And yeah, I'm feeling good about this tournament. I really am. Mainly because I caught a fish in 10 minutes, but you know, that's, that's about it. Well guys, the rain finally stopped. We caught one smallmouth on Main Lake that you guys didn't see. And then I just hooked another big old smallmouth, but he got off. And then I just caught this one right here. And this one here is actually a largemouth. There he is. He's got that big bloody tail. He's a, I guess he would be a post spawner by now, but... He weighs a bloody tail where he's been fanning a bed. Yeah, now we know there's fish here. I think there's fish everywhere on the lake right now. It's really, really big post front, I mean pre front. So they're gonna be biting good anyways. Let's just hope that tomorrow they will. We know they're here, so now we gotta go find another spot. Here, hand me the net real quick. Yeah guys, I got one. Oh, he came off, dang it. I had him on, but he came off. I don't know what he was, but he was right here. What we done was we came like midway into a creek and we had a lot of followers on this jerk bait. So what I done was I come on back here and like almost the main back of the creek. Now I'm still throwing the jerk bait, but what we have now is a little bit dingier water and we also have wind. So that cuts down the visibility and now they're more comfortable to hit my jerk bait right there. So that's what we're doing. 
I'm about to just head out of here because, you know, it's getting about that time. And we got a meeting to go to, and I'll take you all there too, so. So yeah, we're pretty much done practicing, but we still gotta go to the meeting here in about, I don't know, three hours for me, probably about 30 seconds for you guys. A few of y'all are probably wondering, where's my partner? Well, actually, two days ago, I figured out I would be by myself without a partner. You know, if I had a partner, I'd have twice as many baits in the water. So technically, I should have half the chance to win, but I don't think that matters whatsoever. I just gotta go out there and catch fish, and I know I can do that, so. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good after today. I really felt like I knew what I was doing today, and that's what that's what makes me feel good. So yeah, I'm about to show the meeting right now. There may not be too much footage, just because, you know, there's a lot of people, and they'll think I'm a weirdo, which I am. But anyways, you'll get a little bit of footage, and, you know, here you go. Be happy with it. Okay, so we're at the meeting, and everybody was requesting for Avram and Brandon videos. We don't have Avram. Well, we don't have Brandon, but we do have Braden. That's about the same thing. Yeah, close you, enough. What do you say? I say that well, we left Abram out there in the water last time. Still don't know if he's alive, but you know. I'd yeah, whenever we left him, whenever we pushed him out, we never got him back. Like at all. It's bad. It's a bad day for him. He turned over, and we said, you know what? There goes a the crow. Let's go kill it. That's about it. Okay, guys, so you know how I said I'd have a little bit of footage? I sort of didn't have any footage at all, except for a little bit where you did see Braden. We're definitely going to do a few more videos with him soon. But anyways, come back tomorrow for the tournament vid. And to be honest, guys, I'm really, really, really feeling good about this one. But then again, you never know what's going to happen. So I guess I'll just, you know, come back tomorrow, 3 o'clock.